should I care about Sirius XFM anymore? I mean, the, right now, as you put it, you got Mel Carmazan on one side fighting with, with another rich guy, John Malone at Liberty Media. Where's the share price? Is this company still solvent? Yeah, yeah, this, the company's doing great. I mean, this is... Company's this is, doing great? Yes, it is, it is. It's come back from, from the brink in, in uh, early 2009. It's a $2... It's a $2 stock, but it was a 50 cent stock. Well, but it's, but, it's a, you know, but it's a $9 billion company, right? right? So... Um, but is that $9 billion in market cap, or is that $9 billion including the debt? No, that, that's market cap. Really? It's I mean, big. it's complicated because Liberty owns... Um, well, has uh, preferred shares that if they convert uh, will be equal to 40 percent of, of the stock, but that makes the market cap even bigger than it, it appears right now. Uh, but but anyway, d w why does this matter? I mean, well, this is this is a, a classic ba uh, battle of you know big media titans that we haven't seen you know uh, in, in a while. So it is it is a fun story. Uh, but y you know you're right. This is uh, a couple of very rich guys. Um, basically fighting for control of this company. Now, what, what's, uh, what's really interesting here is that uh, Liberty came in in 2009 uh, when no one wanted to invest Nobody in anything. Nobody wanted to touch it, right? That's when, yeah. well, the, the junk bond market in particular, of which there are many um, serious junk bonds floating around out there, was terribly hit by the financial collapse, so nobody wanted to touch this thing. And of course, John Malone kind of was a vulture predator, saw the situation, took advantage of it. Yeah. I, so, uh, believe it or not, uh, that that forty percent stake they got for almost nothing. It was a nominal amount. It was like twelve thousand five hundred dollars. Now, in addition to that, they lent them a lot of money, which has since been repaid. But uh, from Mel Carmazan's perspective, John Malone has made out like a bandit here because he's got a stake worth several well, billion. Why did he, make it? he didn't make it. He got what he what he wanted to get, which was he was the only guy who was going to buy in when times were tough. Well, that's that's true. I, I think that's. I, I mean, if you look back at the agreement as it was made then, that's totally the fair way to look at it. But at the same time. I think Mel does deserve credit for running this company for the last few years and um, well, for doing keeping a good it afloat, job. Basically. Yeah, keeping it and afloat. and look, and Liberty, you know, has said on the record they think he's doing a great job. No one has, has any complaints about Mel, but um, in in you know in the world of uh, media moguls, Carmazan's not making that much money. Right. You know, he's made a, know, he's made a couple I, hundred million I know, dollars. I feel I feel terrible for the man. <laughs> he, he he gave hundreds of millions of dollars to uh, Howard Stern. That he he made right. Howard Stern rich. Yeah. probably made himself a little bit rich in the process. So I'm not feeling sorry for anybody. What's next here? Well, we've got to find out uh, what what Liberty's next move is. So they've they bought more stock recently. Uh, they're about 46 percent. Um, they had applied with the FCC to get uh, de facto control, which basically means they can they can own these um, you know these are communications right. related assets. So they need they need to get that. The FCC has not given it to them, but um, I, I think if they now that they bought a little more stock. Um, and if they convert their preferred, uh, th I mean, th they'll probably get control of the company. Right. And final note, it looks like he put the kibosh on the media attending the shareholder meeting. What's that about? Media media companies are supposed to do that? <laughs> Part well, of the media? The nerve of these people. Well, it, sh sh well, it, was, uh, it, it was shareholders, shareholders only, uh, though... Um, you know, I, I anyone Maybe. who was anyone who um, was presenting an ID was was uh, basically let in. So 